everybody loves butterflies, it's just that some of us haven't quite realised it yet. And we need butterflies. They are immensely strong symbols to us, symbolising beauty, a freedom of the soul. And through metamorphosis they offer immense hope as well. They are the souls of summer hours. In Greek mythology, Psyche, the goddess of the soul, was often depicted as a butterfly. So they are incredibly important things to us and they are of course a part of the garden experience and very much part of the British summer. Many of us are content just to experience butterflies in the garden and there are a great many plants we can grow which butterflies will like to feed on, seeking nectar, uh, such as wild native plants like purple loosestrife here and of course the great range of garden cultivated plants uh, which produce a lot of nectar of which of course the best is the butterfly bush Buddleia davidii which there are a great many cultivars and colour forms uh, but all of which butterflies like. Moths on the other hand are largely creatures of the night of dark and darkness and we have to trap them, lure them. Uh, and moth, modern moth traps are really fantastic for moths. We only have 59 species of butterfly in this country. There are 59 day flying moths and about another 2,000 moths, big and small. And here are some of them from last night's catch, of which the most significant is this, which is the, the dark arches, which is quite a scarce species. And the difference between butterflies and moths is really rather academic. It all lies in the antennae or feelers, which in moths are either feathery or thin, and in butterflies are either clubbed or hooked. Butterflying is a fantastic hobby, and this little book will help you start up. It aims to cover the principles of field craft looking for butterflies and the principles of butterfly ecology. Our scarce of butterflies take you to the most wonderful of places when those habitats are at their very zenith in terms of specialness. They take you to mountain tops, to peat bogs, to lowland heathland, to sea cliffs, sand dunes, sea combs, forests and best butterfly habitat of all in terms of number of species is chalk and limestone grassland like here at Robra Common which the National Trust owns in the Cotswolds. This really is butterfly heaven. Now this is a freshly emerged male Adonis blue. The undersides of this browny grey with those orange dots and those black spots. The upper side is an electric iridescent bright blue. And the incredible thing about this butterfly is that it died out in the Cotswolds, where we are now, in 1963, and then 40 years on, reappeared mysteriously and spectacularly. Since 2003, when it started to reappear, it's exploded in the Cotswolds and there's over 30 Connollys. Pair of common blues mating. Now, in very basic terms, being a butterfly is all about sex because the butterfly is the mature reproductive stage of a complex metamorphosis. Obviously once mated, the female's job then is to go off and lay eggs and secure the future of the species. The male is then somewhat redundant and um, we don't really know how many times butterflies mate. Basically, virginity does not last long in the female of the species. It is a biological advantage for the ladies to get mated as soon as possible, often before they have really ready to fly. The very old male chalk hill blue, difficult to identify because there's not much of him left. The average butterfly this size lives for about a week but individuals may live for much longer. He may be two or three weeks old, but certainly he hasn't got much longer left in him. Now separating the females of the Chalk Hill and the Adonis Blue is extremely difficult, but the tip is Chalk Hill Blue females are old and ragged when the second brood Adonis Blue females are flying, because the Adonis flies a little bit later, and that's the tip. So this book should appeal to the absolute beginner, 
because it covers the areas which the visually orientated identification guides don't. Uh, it should also appeal to the more experienced butterfly watcher who needs um, his or her focus sharpening. In particular, this book tries to convey the, the real ecological principles um, which govern butterflies. Enjoy it.